Oh, put it in the bag. One from one. <laughs> That's not a bad start. But for me, and again, I loved, I loved the alignment of it. And I know that's not necessarily a big feature of the club or not supposed to be a big feature of the club. But I love the alignment bar. It's very simple and it seems to set up. I'm a lover of this plumb line neck as well, but it seems to set up very, very um, easy to dress. Trying to explain what's different about them and why, other than just showing you visually the looks of them. Well, we've got two, th these are the two most recent spider putters. Their weight, in terms of the way it's distributed, is totally different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but effectively, they're both, I mean, you've got that weight bar right at the back that you're t spinning around. The, that black the, bar. the only thing the same about these is the head cover they come in. Yeah. They couldn't be more opposite, could no. they? No. Tungsten but, weight at the back, yeah. Forgiveness. Yeah. CG further back, forgiving, yeah. you know, perimeter weighted. I mean, there's nothing in the middle. It's no. that, and then that is weight forward. But what, I, the, what I want you to do is, is try, the reason I brought that today is try yeah. both putters and seeing if it is really noticeable yeah, playing yeah. the two. God. We didn't pick up my audio then of, I'm not a big fan of this. <laughs> you don't have to be. No. I was gonna say, do you like any better now? No. I'll just switch to the other, uh, we'll use the same two balls, try and keep some consistency. They're both TP5s, one's got a pattern on it, but they both are TP5s. Um, a lot smaller. Yeah, you know, and when you put them next to each other, you know they're, they're actually. There's you know, a huge that's, difference. There's not a huge difference, but this one visually, I don't know whether it's the black around the outside or anything, but for me, would be definitely more appealing, and definitely more appealing down there as well. But my my question is really more about when you when you strike that putter and you compare it to the oversized, or not oversized, the mallet style yeah. traditionally, as we know in terms of I don't of feel as though I'm really in control of that. Right. What's, what I'm doing here doesn't relate to what's going on down there, whereas with this one, the feedback's a lot better. Um, I feel as though the ball does what I want it to do, whether that's right or wrong, you know, we don't, we don't hold everything, do we? With that one, I think it's, it's for the, you know, I can I can see why they've done it, and I know why they've done it. They've moved the weight back. It's for. Do you think it would help poorer putters, the bigger mallet? In other words, <sighs> I, 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 I don't think the forgiveness in it. It, it takes away so much from the feedback. Yeah. That actually a poorer putter would You know, it would it would sort of paper over the cracks. Yeah. If it was good. But actually with this one, you know exactly what's happened. Yeah. So you know whether you've made a good stroke, you know whether it's been a good strike. Um, and I would go, isn't that a positive for every golfer? Yeah. You know, I understand the forgiving side of that, but I don't think it makes you a better putter. And I don't think it really, that end, has a, has a bearing on getting the ball closer. I like the sort of alignment. Um, it's, it's interesting the way they brought this, cut out this back element and uh, he has three lines at the front, but I the ball really well. And, and I think there's sort of stability in the head. I can understand how that would appeal to um, a lot of golfers. But I want to switch straight out to this uh, putter, which has got me a little bit, a little bit confused. It's totally different in its, in its overall weight, or at least it seems to be. Um, but it definitely, even looking at the rotations on the ball itself, it definitely seems to promote a more forward roll. And you said earlier on the other clip on the basis that the ball definitely seems to fire out there a bit quicker. And I suppose it's an obvious statement with that weight being planted at the front. But there is a, the thing I think about technology and putters or whatever they bring out, and I said, I brought the truss out, is if something changes, something new comes out, I want to be able to see it in performance. Yeah. So that one referring to the old spider is not necessarily bad. This one's not good. There's no, there's no right or wrong. 
but you as an individual want to go into a golf shop and you've got a decision to make. Yeah. There's a truss putter, there's the traditional mallet and there's that, and yeah. there's three very different putters. So what we're saying is, uh, you know, for us, the logic of the... Technology. The, the, the logic of the big one yeah. would, would probably make people go in go and buy it, you know, it's forgiving, I'm struggling with putting, I'm going to get a big headed, weight at the back, but actually, people, you, you should try, for, for me, that's the one people should be trying, because that's very, very different to anything. Well, I think it just goes to show, it's that same old thing again, people, uh, there's, a, there's a complaint about products being released, and the logic behind it being released, all I'm saying is, there is three different product types there, they're all very, very different, and I think you could you could line 20 people up and they could all choose a different one of these putters. And for me, that's the only thing that matters is that it's another putter on the shelf. Whether you, whether you like it or not is irrelevant. Yeah. The point is it does something different in terms of its current setup than what is out there, certainly in the tailor-made range. And I'm a fan of it, as you know. I like it. But I like the truss putter. Dustin liked it for one round. always what i like to what i like to, what i like with it again is always and i said about that weight forward it's that it's that um it's that forward roll the revolutions of the ball are just so you, you can just see that ball spinning over it just yeah. literally puts on top spin on the ball or, or promotes that forward roll getting the ball rolling at the hole so last one lou i brought the truss along because i know you've not really tried this i know we've had a few rolls on a couple of greens and the reason I brought it is because, again, to me, there is, I mentioned it on the previous hole, TaylorMade have done what they do quite often. They've, they've covered all the bases. Yeah. And uh, the putters are no different, really, at the minute. There's a huge amount of choice on board. Oh, I couldn't agree more. It's like, it's like, if, in fact, they're trying to find, you know, if, you know forward CG, let's see what that does. Um, Blade putter with the stability of a mallet. Let's see what that does. Tuck weight at the back. But, but the way, the way I look at it, I suppose it's similar to what I said on the previous thing. For me... I don't um, think that's a negative, though. No, that's They're what I They're trying to cover all the bases yeah. for all the golfers, which is... Yeah. I think, you know, like I said, the one thing for me, particularly this morning, bringing these three different putter styles out is that it's that same old thing. It's all about getting custom fit, and even for putters for me now, Either get custom fit or make sure you don't dismiss any of the options based on your traditional choice and give them all a roll and you'll without doubt see a noticeable difference yeah. between all of them. Yeah.